meant to play on your home court? Um, it was a great experience. It was a lot of fun being able to play and in front of my family and friends and in Winston family in general. Um, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And I really thought I was going to be nervous, but I really wasn't. And I really enjoyed every, every yeah, second of it. So. Uh, what happened in the second set? You were up, I guess it was 4-2, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. What, what happened? I was up 4-2. Um, <laughs> what happened? I mean, honestly, just a few years here and there. Um, I just should have slowed down and just thought about what I was going to do more. But I kind of rushed because I knew I could get to 5-2. Uh, especially, I think I was serving at 4-2 anyway. But, uh, you know, it's a learning experience. And How many times did you get broken down the stroke? Did you get just once? After it was 4-2. Like, after 4-2? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I missed the end of it. My also. mind is, sorry, in 30 places. <laughs> um, but I think it was only once. I'm pretty positive. I think it's right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was definitely a learning experience being up 4-2 and having that opportunity. You know, this whole experience, like you said, playing at home, playing playing your home, your home courts too. Mm -hmm. How was it coming through the qualifying the other day to have this opportunity? Uh, qualifying was tough. I had to play actually a lot of people who were on my team. Uh -huh. um, and a former player who was on our team was an All-American who was really, really good. He had Steve Foreman. And that was a hands part, right? Um, we actually played, played here. We played here, mm -hmm. okay, good. Um, so that was a tough match, but I'm really thankful that I did get to play because I honestly felt like I deserved just a chance to be here. And I think after the match, I felt like, you know, I deserved to play in tournaments like this and play against opponents like him. So um, it was actually a really good, again, experience. <laughs> and I can't hate TV's network, but I just really am fortunate for the opportunity. Well, obviously, you had a lot of, as you said, family and friends. You had a lot of coaches and teammates out here, too. Mm -hmm. What was it like seeing a MOG out here, too? <laughs> it was <laughs> awesome. Because um, I think he found out, like, 10 minutes before, yeah, last night, that yeah. he wasn't actually going to play. Um, so him getting the chance to play, I think he was really excited. He was excited to watch him um, for the five minutes that day. So how long have you been back down here now? Um, less than 24 hours now. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened with the match? You seemed, seemed like you had it in hand and lost it. Six straight games, I think you lost. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, I was uh, I was playing pretty well, and then um, I think uh, at four three in the second set, I played a pretty good game. I was a pretty low. Um, you know, put some good shots. Uh, you know, my feet when I came in. Um, you know, I didn't play my best half of that. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of lost a little bit of momentum. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's one of those things kind of just snowballed, and uh, unfortunately, I guess. All the breaks to serve before you, even you start losing that. What, what was up with that? Um, there were so many. Of them. I know. I was. Uh, I wasn't serving my best. You know, the one thing, holding serve is. It's not just about like serving well. Mm -hmm. That's obviously the most important. But it's also backing it up. And I was really slow off that first ball, and that that makes a huge difference. You know, when you even if you hit a good serve and the guy comes back and you don't, you're not quick mm -hmm. to manage that first ball. You, you know, you're in a defensive position. It's not. Uh, good. Yeah. What happened with the injury? Was it was a cramp. Uh, no, actually, uh, it's something that's happened that uh, happened like three, four days ago. When I was working out. Um, I kind of just pulled like, muscle. You know, it was one of the things that happens. Your left leg? Yeah, it's my left, like my left thigh going something. Um, it's something major. Uh, it's one of those things like playing tennis. Working out, all those, those things come up. Um, unfortunately, you know, it was good to kind of just get that wrapped up, take care of so you think about. Did that play into how you played the third set? I would not. Um, I. You know, I, I, I don't want to make excuses like that. I didn't play my best in the third set. And, uh, that's why I lost it. What's it like to play over here in this facility and an event like this in your home courts? It was awesome, honestly. It was it was a great. I mean, that was one of the things that helped me, um, you know, out early on. And um, I wasn't here. I'm here. I'm here. I've been here for too long this summer. It's you know we play on this court every day. You know, so heading back here, I've seen every spot on the, the court. You know, every ball down. So um, you know, the fences, things like that. Those things. Fuck somebody if you haven't played there for a while, you know. Um, but luckily, I've been here and we're really blessed to have this awesome facility. So. You've been here long enough now to see this the whole tournament. Yeah. Kind of spruce up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. What's it like to see that? Um, you know, we are so lucky to have this tournament here. It's been it's really awesome. You know, Bill Oaks, the tournament director, does a fantastic job. Um, you know, we're all the sponsors and everything. I want to thank them. And uh, it, it's really awesome. You know, we see some, you see some great players. You have a chance to hit with some great players. And uh, you know, kind of just 
It's fun. Are you going to be able to see David's match? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I can't wait. You know, David's been my doubles partner last year, uh, you know, and he's one of my good friends. And, um, can't wait to go see him. Pull up. What do you think it's like for him? You know, sort of like his home, not only his home school, it's like his hometown too. <laughs> yeah, he's so ex he's so excited. I talked to him as soon as he won the qualifier, and uh, you know he was ecstatic. And uh, he's telling you know his mom's calling everybody, you know, to come watch him play, and uh, you know, he's excited as he should be. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 fantastic for him. Uh, I could I could you know I could speak for him and say that he's extremely excited for the opportunity. I know he went through the qualifier. Did you two communicate at all this week, you know, while he was in it? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I, uh, you know, we still, you know, I talked to him before he played uh, Steve in the finals, and you know, he said uh, he was looking forward to it. You know, has a chance to kind of get the balls of the ATP tournaments. He was, you know, uh, he's never. Uh, he was excited. Now that your experience is somewhat over, I guess, what what did you take out of it? Um. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, it's just it's nice. You know, you have to like you can't think, oh, I'm playing the one scene. You know, you're just like, hey, I'm playing another tennis match, and um, you know, that's kind of what helped me out at the beginning. You know, first game, I was like a little shaky. Um, I was able to hold serve, but I was like kind of in my head, I was like, a little shaky, and then I realized the next game, hey, it's a tennis match. I'm out there. He's out there.